Today I am going to discuss about the differences between the tropical and temperate cyclone. First we are going to about the one by one characteristics and how it is varied for the tropical cyclone as well as for the temperate cyclone. Like origin. This is the tropical and this one the temperate. So in case of the tropical cyclone, that origin is basically the thermal origin, right? There is a thermal origin. And temperate cyclone, that is the dynamic. Why is dynamic? It is caused due to the coalesce force movement of the air mass. Second, extent. It is confined within the latitude of 8 degree to 15 degree north and south. Whereas tempered cyclone is confined between 35 degree to 65 degree north latitude and south latitude. And however, these are more pronounced in the northern hemisphere in comparison to southern hemisphere. Formation. In case of the formation, they form only the seas having a temperature of more than 26 degrees centigrade. And the high Coriolis force and dissipate at the land. It can confine both the sea and land. Seasonally, it is generally found in the late summer generally between August to October whereas temperate cyclone are irregular it is few in summer and more in winter season. Size In terms of size, it is limited in small area like 100 to 500 kilometers or small. Whereas temperate cyclone will be extended from 300 to 2000 kilometers. Shape. These are generally elliptical in nature. Elliptical shape. This is inverted V. Most of the cases, they are inverted in V. Rainfall condition. In case of the tropical cyclone, heavy downpour are occurred.
whereas rainfall is continuous few and continuous for many days wind velocity the wind velocity of the tropical cyclone varied from 100 to 250 km per hour whereas in the temperate cyclone it is 30 to 80 km per hour isobar Isobars of the tropical cyclone are circle and the pressure gradient is strict. Whereas in case of the temperate cyclone, that is, isobars are V set. and pressure gradient is low. Lifetime. In case of lifetime, it doesn't last for more than a week. But in temperate cyclone, it can last for two to three weeks. Path. On the basis of the path, that it can move from east to west. In direction. And moved away from the equator. Where it's tropical cyclone move from the west to east. The temperate cyclone move from the west to east as well as it found in the temperate region. Temperature distribution. Temperature at the center is almost equally distributed. And in case of the tempered cyclone, all sectors having the different temperature. Next to the driving force, tropical cycle derived its energy from the latent heat of condensation. And temperate cycle, it's depend on the density of air mass.
cloud pattern in tropical cycling that exhibit cumulonimbus cloud nimbus or nimbostratus cloud in temperate cyclone that various type of clouds are found at various elevation in india its influence mostly the coast are affected by this temperate tropical cyclone and east coast is the hot spot of the tropical cyclone and it brings and the temperate cyclone brings the rain in northeast india due to the coastal disturbances and associated with the uh, instability of the coastal disturbances these are some basic differences of the tropical and temperate cyclone thank you for watching